so today what we will do you know we'll start that uh, file handling files means you know right like how to create a folder files and how to write data into that file and how to read the data from the files and what are the different approaches and which one is the best and is there what is the difference between that approaches so based on our I mean convenient we have to select one approach and then we have to proceed it okay, okay. yeah so files means anyway, I mean it, it can be any file like text file or word file or xml or anything so we so as per our examples we will go for like so we will create some text files and we will read the data we will write the data and we will see the differences and we will try to compare it that is one main agenda and second agenda is right so let's suppose so when i explain the exception handling i explain only some of the examples like compile time exception runtime exception i said right today we will right. see more examples about compile time exceptions there is uh, <clears throat> today i will explain some more uh, exceptions of type compile time okay okay so that is the main one so first what i will do i will create a new I mean, sample java project okay okay and okay let me give file underscore one I, mean, I had given the project name as file underscore one yeah basically i created new workspace why because every time i'm creating projects in the same workspace for all the different different batches so just i separated i mean workspace only for you so okay. that if if you need to go back and it's very easy to get I mean all the files what are we created for you only for you okay so this is a simple java project what i created okay inside that right so i want to create a simple class okay file manager the class name i'm i'm trying to give you as a file manager okay okay you can give the package as a com dot second sorry package name i'm trying to give second com dot second and okay. i'm trying to select the public static void man this if you select this checkbox the default method will be created okay yeah so this is the default uh, method and the class name is file manager yeah okay so far it is good right yeah okay so let's suppose my agenda is i want to create a simple text file like abc.txt so how to create the text file by using program by using java program so that is the simple example file create okay so the first i am trying to create a new text file and okay. that text file i want to create in a specified location so i'll okay. show you how to create file and how to pass the location so okay. so there is a class called in java file it is there under package called java.io we, we need to import that one did you see that the package java.io inside that package there is a class called file so this is yeah. the file so just i imported that file and i'm trying to create an object for that one okay so mm -hmm. here right inside the file when i'm trying to create an object so there is no default constructor here here we need to pass the file name which file you want to create you need to pass the file name let's suppose i want to create abc.txt okay there is no default constructor basically let's suppose if i will remove this one what will happen see you got an error right why because yeah. there is no default constructor in file class so we have to pass a string as a file name okay okay after okay. that file dot you have to call create new file okay we need to call file dot create new file and this method will throw an exception of type io exception okay so we need to handle that one so we need to provide try catch or we need to throw the exception to the user 
okay whether you need to handle or you need to throw the to the user okay. anyone we have to provide okay so how to provide the try catch right eclipse will give you this red message and just select surround with try catch okay so it will add try catch for that uh, a method wherever you are calling file dot create method so it will add try catch okay so eclipse will write uh, I mean some default code okay so okay. what i will do i will run this program and we will see whether file will create or not let me run as a java and the file will be created in the same location did i given any c drive e drive b drive no i have not mentioned the so the file will be created in the same location did you see that the file is created yeah so this is the way to create file let's suppose i want to create a file in a different drive so let's suppose say for instance uh, take this one so in this location i want to create a drive c user dell desktop original so mm -hmm. how to so here we need to mention the drive location so single forward slash we have to mention as a double otherwise backward either this one or this one okay mention double original so this is the location in this location now i want to create xyz i am I'm, I'm trying to change the file name okay okay let me run it and we'll see whether the file will be created or not so no no exception if something exception happened right so this method will execute and it will display the exception message did you see that the file is created yes so this is it is created just now see there 7.19, 7.9 this is my system time okay. okay and let's suppose i had given a wrong location there is no this location original okay i have modified the location and i am trying to create the what will happen did you see there this is the exception we are getting io exception yeah. the system cannot find the path so that's what we are handling we are providing this exception handling okay so means whatever location you are trying to give there is no such kind of location so if you get a backslash then what happens? that is also same it will work but the location should be there whatever slash you are giving it should be valid one either forward or back forward or backward okay so location i modified basically i did something i mean i removed some of the content there is no this folder basically in my system yeah so that's what it is telling it's not able to create the file it's not able to find the location hmm. that, is, okay. that is what it's telling the system cannot find path specified okay got it right how to create file okay if you use the throw exception then what happened same throw thing. exception is same thing there is no difference there is no difference So then if I'm throwing here, then my method also should throws, right? Throw. Yes. Throw, throws. Exception of type, I Y exception. Uh, okay. That's all. Okay, got it. This is also same, you'll get same except similar kind of exception. There is no difference. Okay. Okay, that is up to you whether you want to handle it. Better always try to throw the exception, whatever you are getting, just throw to the user so that end user know what happened if you're not okay. throwing right end user don't know what is happening in this method okay so that's what we are using throw and throws okay okay Got it. So now i don't want to create files in different location just i want to create in my same location only so so why because you know so that i can see my files here only so no need to go here or there so now i created xyz the file also created yes so far it's good now i want to create a folder so how to create a folder not file some just folder okay. directory okay okay so again same thing i want to create a directory i have to create the object for file and i have to pass the directory name 
I want to create a directory called test. Test means it's basically a folder. So file one okay. dot and the method uh, what I need to cause is a make directory. Okay. And the exception is different here. There is no exception. I have an exception. So why? Because you know folder means see, did you see there any exception? So there is no, so you can no. remove this one. So this is a compile type exception. If there is no such kind of statement, we have to remove it. So now we have to execute it. And just go to here and refresh it. Did you see that the test folder is created? Okay. Okay, let's suppose how, how you know uh, whether file is created or not. Every time we are going here and we are refreshing, right? Yeah. Okay, if the if the location is something different, it's in different server, then it's very difficult to find. So that's what, right? There is a method called boolean here. Sorry, it will return a boolean flag. Okay. So if the file is created successfully, it will return true. If the file okay. is not able to create, then it will return false. False. So based on that, you can able to check whether file or folder is created or not. Correct? Yeah. So here if it is true, then you can say folder is created. Okay. Else if if it if it is written false, then you can say folder is not created. So there is two reasons folder is not created. Let's suppose <coughs> now in this location folder is already there right test is there now again i am trying to create second time the folder name test second time in the same location what will happen the folder will not create yeah so because the folder is already there right yeah so let me run it and we will see whether we will get true or false folder is not create why because the folder is already there so what i will do this time i will delete the folder so this is the folder, right? I'm trying to delete it. Mm -hmm. I deleted. So now there is no test folder, right? Right. So now I'm trying to run this program again. Did you see their folder is created now? Yeah, yes. So that way you can able to make sure whether your folder is created or not. So I think here also we have this kind of method. Did you see that? There also it's written in Boolean. Boolean, yes. So here also you can take that Boolean. Or else you can, yeah. So boolean is there. Here also you can write the same logic. Whether file is created or not. Okay. Here file. The, you got it right. How to check the file is created or not? Yes. So if I execute this one, X Y Z already there. Folder is already there. Sorry, test is already there. So you will get always false, false. Let's run it why because existing file file is not created folder is not created so what i am trying to do i'm just i'm changing the file name as xyz1 folder name is test1 so okay there is no this kind of files in my location let me read yes it. there is no test1 there is no xyz1 right so if i'll run it so it will create folders and files successfully and you will see created message right so this is the way to create files and folders in a specified location. You understand, right? This uh, example? Yes. Okay, fine. Okay, now what I will do, I will create a different, uh, so far what we have written, just we are creating files, we are not writing data into that file, right? Just we are creating empty files. Yes. Okay, now the second is how to write data how to create files plus how to write some data into that file and how to read the data. Okay. So that is the second example. Okay. Let me create a new project call <coughs> file underscore read write. Okay. I had given project name as file underscore read write underscore one. Okay. Let me give to one, two, three. Okay. Finish it. The first one is a basic example and second one is a little bit advanced. It means we are trying to write the data into file and after that we will be reading the data.
okay okay what i want to do i want to create a file manager class file manager com dot file so i had given a package called com dot file and i had given my class name as file manager and i selected public static void the public static void man this is a, by selecting this one you will get to I me mean, it will generate the default method right yeah so so far it is when you can able to understand right yes okay so if you have any questions you can stop me there we will discuss Okay. No, I'm good. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I want to do first, I have to create the file. Okay. Create file plus write data. Yes. Okay. First task is I need to create file plus write data. After that, what I have to do? Read the data. Read the data. So this is second task. Yeah. Okay, so I will show you a different approach how to create the file and how to write the data. This is one of the approach. Okay, so there is an approach called output stream. Okay. So output stream, just create an object for output stream. Output stream equal to new. We have to remember these classes. So this is also class and it is available. It is available in java.io package. Okay. So it is a package is same output dot. I mean, what is it? Uh, <coughs> java.io package and inside this, what is this? Just clear it out. Okay. And right. See, did you see there? There is no default constructor here. Right. So here I need to pass the file name. Yes. The class name is file output stream. If output stream, sorry, equal to new, new file output stream. So this is the class name and here I need to pass the file name. So this is the class not output stream file output stream. I said the wrong one first one. So okay. Remove this one file output stream. So basically we need to create an object for file output stream and we have a constructor here. <coughs> so in this constructor <coughs> it will take the file it will take string as an argument. So the string okay. means we need to pass the file name. Which file you want to create? I want to create abc.txt. Okay. So right now abc.txt, that file is not there. So what it will do, if the file is not there, it will create the file. After that, we have to write the data. First, let me show you a the flow. So here, it's a constructor, right? It's <coughs> that constructor is throwing an exception called file not found. So we have to write a try clash with that exception name file not found. Okay. So what I'm trying to do, I'm just I'm trying to hit this surround with try catch. So it will generate the default uh, try catch. So far, just I created an object for file output stream and I, I had given the file name as abc.txt. So first what we have to do, first we have to create the file. After that, we have to dump the data into that file. Then we have to read the data. There is three steps. The first step is what we did, you know, we created an object and we had given the file name. So now okay. after that, what I want to do, F O S dot. So there is a method called write. Yeah. So this step, what it will do, it will create a file. And second okay. step, what we are doing, some steps, write data. Okay. Just we are trying to write data into our file name, our file. Mm -hmm. So the data right here, did you see that there is a method called write and yeah. the method input is what is the input? Bytes. So whatever data you have, you have to convert the data into byte and we have to pass here. 
So okay. let's suppose there is a data called string. So this is the data I want to write into file. Okay. Hi, string data. So still the data is hi, hello to all. This, this is the data I want to write into my ABC file. Okay. First, what I had to do, I, I had to convert this data into byte format. Then I have to pass here. Okay. So how to convert this data into byte format? So this string is a data is a string, right? Yeah. Okay. Inside the string class, there is a method called get bytes. There is okay. so many methods is there. One of the method is bytes. <coughs> okay. Basically, what I am trying to do here. Byte, not bytes, bytes. Okay. So what I did, I created a string and that string I converted into bytes. Bytes array. Okay. Okay. Now I have my bytes data. Okay, let me pass it. What is this? It is a colon. Okay. What is this? An unhandled exception. So Whenever we are calling this write method, right, it is throwing some exception, then some secret exception, the type of IO exception. So okay. we have to add try catch of IO exception. Okay. So I will copy this one and I will add IO exception. Now the exception gone. Okay. okay. Now I have written the data. I opened the file. And, and then after that I have written the data. So whenever you are opening the file, we have to close the file once the usage is done. Okay. We have to close the file. Otherwise, you know, it's a stream, right? The, the stream is always opened. So we have to close the data. Okay. Okay. So far it is good. So yeah. just I will write here one statement. So this is just for our understanding file creation is done with the data. Okay. If I execute this one first, it should create a abc.txt. And after that, we are writing data into hi, hello to hall. After that, we are closing the stream. Okay. Okay. So this this one, you, these steps you understood, right? Yes. Okay. Fine. So you are declaring the array here. Uh, array. Byte have. So what, this is a string, right? String. Uh, this is the data. String data equal to high to hall. Okay. That yeah. string data I am trying to convert into byte array. Byte array. Okay. Yeah. So the why I am converting in that string into a byte, right? So whatever the file output stream is there, it will take input as a only byte. It will not take string as it is. Okay. So that's what we need to convert the data into byte array. Okay. Okay. Now let me run it. Did you see that file creation is done and with data? Right. Okay. Now let me refresh it and we will see whether. Yeah. There is a file called abc.txt. Did you see that? Yeah. Now let me open this file. Data also is there. Yes. Okay, let me close it. Okay, now we know how to create file and how to write the data. So if second time I'm creating the same, it will execute. Mm -hmm. File is already there, so it will not recreate again. Okay, so okay. The second thing is we need to read the data from this file. Okay. Your file already is there, we need to read the data and we need to display the data into our system console. Okay. Okay, read the data. So this is the second step. So how to read the data? For to read the data, there is an, another class called file input stream. So these classes we have to remember basically. <clears throat> so here, right, if you see this, there is a call, I mean constructor inside the file input stream, there is a two constructor. So this is the 
I mean class. So one constructor is argument is string, and another constructor argument is file. Fine. So if you have a file object, you can pass here. If you don't have file object, if if you have, I mean, what is it? In previous example, we have created file, right? File f equal to new file. So if you have yes. that location, you can pass directly here. Otherwise, if you, if you know only name, you can pass here abc dot txt. There is no difference. If you, if you have file object, you can pass here. If you don't have file object, if you know only the location, the server location, you can pass here. Okay. Like file location like c c colon users all those things. You can pass any one. Okay. So basically, I am trying to read data from the abc dot txt, which is located in the same location. Okay. Okay. So far, it is good, right? Yes. Okay. I have one, one question actually. Okay. If I should, then I will ask you. Yeah. Okay. You can ask me at any time. Okay. Actually, uh, the my question is that uh, the you are importing all the statement when you are actually suppose. Uh, I exceptions file out whenever we are working mm -hmm. you are automatically importing all the statement yes so let's suppose whenever uh, let's suppose let me write this one f5 p a dot read so if you take this uh, write method right if you yeah. whenever you are calling this fos dot write it will give compilation exception why because you have not provided try catch for this statement of okay. IO exception, otherwise it will not allow. See there, let me go to this method. So this is a write method. Okay. It is throwing of exception type. I IO exception. So you have to write try catch. IO exception is a compile time exception. Otherwise the program will not compile. Okay. So that's what we are providing downside this IO exception okay. for this statement. So this statement is located in in this try catch. Yes. This one anyway you'll be aware. Let's suppose whenever you're writing the method and whenever you're calling the method, immediately it will throw compilation error. And it will say if a try catch is required, something like that. Okay. 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 So now I'm trying to read data from this file abc.txt. So I'm calling read method. So what read method will give? It will give one integer basically. See here. Yeah. So it's it, it will give one integer. Did you see that int? In, yeah, integer. Okay. So first, what I had to do, I had to declare an integer. Okay. Integer i equal to zero. Okay. So every right. So whenever it's opening the file, every character it will read and it will convert that character into byte and it will give back. It will read character by character and it will, it will give back. That integer we have to convert into character. Okay. So in the file it is saving as a hi hello to all. So first it will read H and it will convert corresponding to byte and it will give to us. So that byte we have to convert again back to string character. String character. So there is a lot of conversion is there here. Yes. So let me write a while loop. Why? Because there is so it will read each character at a time. So i equal to. Then what I had to do? Not equal to minus one. So first, what I am trying to do here? Just I am reading the integer, and I am assigning to i. Okay. okay. After yeah. that, and I'm trying to compare that integer is not equal to minus one. So the default is zero. And when I'm trying to read first character, maybe I will get the, uh, what do you say? That byte as a 123 for first character and second character, maybe 124, something like that. I will, I will get keep on at the end, right? If there is no data, then it will give back as a minus one. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to read from uh, <coughs> zero to some minus one. Minus one means the file end is over. There is no data. Okay. So then we will come out of from that uh, while loop. So now I'm displaying here the data. So here, let me so display the data as it is. So, 
now see there the data if i am displaying as it is it's displaying numbers only so yes. 71 but uh, we should, we are not expecting the bytes right we are expecting cares so cares. we need to convert these bytes into the cares yeah. so how to convert that one so we have to convert we have to be type cares to care now i will run again now we can able to see our data right right hi hello to all as it is yeah so this is the way after that did you see that there is a some warning message resource yes. leak fif is never closed so this is also one stream right so whenever you are using we have to close it immediately okay so the sort eclipse is telling a warning no yes Yes, that's all. Now let me run it and close it. That's all. Okay. And here, yeah. right? So this is the data. If I want to add a second line again, string data to equal to yes. So I'm adding some A B C. So first time trying to add one data. and the second data i'm trying to add again i need to create uh, what to say again i had to convert that data one into array okay all to data one and where is that where we are writing so here again i had to write all to okay so basically i'm trying to write data into two lines i want to write so that's what i i'm writing write a data conversion all bytes are and all after that i want to read it basically i'm trying to add one more line so did you see there file creation is done and with yes. the data the data is hello hi hello to all from abc yes so because abc also i'm writing right here two times i'm writing okay Yes. So, but it's very difficult, right? If I want to write uh, one more line, I need to create, I need to convert it, and I need to bytes, and I need to write it again. I need to convert that character, I mean that uh, bytes into character. So there is a lot of conversion is happening here, right? Yes. Okay. So that's what we'll go for some different approach. So this approach, I mean, you understood, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now the different approach is, let me create a different, I mean, new, I mean, Java project. File, underscore, read write, underscore three, finish it. Okay, this is the just I created a new simple project. So let me create new class file manager. okay this is a simple class i have created so there is a class called buffered buffer writer okay writer equal to new buffer writer okay so just we need to create an object for buffer writer and inside the buffer writer we have there is a method called write okay, okay. so so inside the write method if you want to write whatever data you want to write you, you can write here hi hello to all okay this okay. is the way to write the data and here there is no conversion no need to convert data into bytes directly you write the data okay here there is an argument so here we need to pass the basically file name now file okay. name. here so far we have not created file right so we have to create file yeah Sorry. 
file output stream equal to new file output stream and here I need to pass the file name a b c dot t x t and here I had to give the o as a input sorry o So here, right, so this is a buffered writer and the constructor, what is the constructor? Let me write, let me see, writer. Okay, so we need to create a file writer. File writer, fw equal to new file writer. And here I need to pass the abc dot txt and here I have to pass the file writer and here it is telling unhandle exception try catch and here also it is telling unhandle exception try catch and what else the local variable may be not initialized null colon okay so far it's good i will explain you this one so first what i did you know uh, let me clear it out let me keep everything in one line in one try catch let me clear it yeah so let me remove it okay Okay, so now, now there is no errors. So what I did, you know, so far what I did, remove it on these imports. Okay. Control A, format it. Okay. <clears throat> so first, right, what I did, I created buffered writer. This is a class. I created an object for this one. Okay. okay. So this is a constructor, right? So for this constructor, we need to pass here file writer. So yeah. I, for this constructor is file writer so first after that what I did I created a file writer object and I passed the file name as abc.txt yes okay. so for this from this uh, buffered writer there is a method called write yes so inside the write you can write what content you want to write into the file Right. So no need to convert bytes to I mean string to bytes just directly write string as it is So this data will be uh, right into this file. Got it right? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's suppose I want to write one more line. Okay, what is this here? Second line here. Just I'm writing data itself, second line here. Okay. So basically I'm trying to write two lines into the file. Yep. Okay. After that we have to close the buffered writer then after that we have to close the file writer also whatever how many things you are opening you have to close everything okay so i have opened buffered writer i closed it uh, i opened file writer i closed it okay after that what i want to do i want to write one statement called data written successfully Okay, just one statement. First, what I created, I created an object for buffered writer, and the con the there is a constructor inside the buffered writer. The constructor type is file writer. So, as part of file writer, I pass it my file name, and as part of buffered writer, there is a method called write. So, as part of that, I'm passing my data. Yeah. So then I'm closing the all the I mean resource whatever I opened. So let me run it. We will see. So there is an alpine exception. 
okay where is the line number 10 let me so the line number where is line number 10 so this is the one file writer new file writer abc.txt so where is that exception it is still in file writer manager 10 line number 10 I think there is something wrong line number 10 oh I got it I got it see there so here I created an object right yep after that I'm passing here <laughs> in this statement I'm not assigning FW right FW what is the current value of this FW now null so that's what I'm getting null null pointer at line number 10 okay. so what I had to do first I had to assign the value after that I had to call this method means I need to create an object basically now it is what is the value of FW after label is uh, some object some object um, it is not null right now FW now FW is not null okay yeah. let me run it then we'll see now whether it will success or not now I can able to write the data you understand right that the previous issue why because without assigning the value I'm passing to this constructor so it is failing okay so I'm assigning the value and I'm passing it to it so now it is successful there is no issue so data written when something is displaying now go to here and refresh it so ABC is created but see but I have written two lines but it's displaying everything into one line yes. there is no formatter kind of thing right it should display into here too long yeah so how to do that one so don't change okay let me delete it and I will try to recreate it again okay so now after first line I want to display a second line a next line okay new line so what will happen you know first it will write data into the file and after that it will go to the next line and in next line it will write the data right otherwise all the data will be in one line only yes okay so here we have a lot of formatters but whereas in previous approach there is no such kind of approaches okay yeah. so now see there first hi hello to hall after that second line here right so this is the way to write the data okay Yep. So now we saw how to write the data. Now the second one is how to read this data. Yep. So to read the data again, read data. So we first what we have to do, we have to create an object for file reader and we have to pass the file name as an input. So I'm trying to create file reader. If reader equal to due file reader and what file I want to read abc.txt yeah okay after creating this object I need to create an, uh, another object called buffered reader yeah. the previous one is buffered writer oh, wow. reader. buffered reader buffered reader equal to new buffered reader and yeah. the input is file reader this one is clear right just yes. I create a file reader and which file I want to read and that object I had to pass to the buffered reader reader after that what I had to do I had to read the content fr dot read there is a method called read line okay so what it will do from the file it will try to read each line one time each line one time so how many lines is there in our case and um, two, lines. two lines so it will read two times after third time whenever you are trying to read what will happen the third line is there 
no there is no line actually oh, right so this read line will return string so what i had to declare here i i want to declare a string string line equal to null okay yes. first br dot read line what it will do it will read a first line and it will assign to so far it is good let's suppose if the line reached to the end then it will return null if it is trying to read third line it will return null right so how you know whether it reached end of the file or not so that's what we have to use while loop okay so while loop so we have to check for every line if it is not equal to null yep we have to open bracket so if it is not equal to null then we have to display that line yep. got it right yep so every time we are reading one line and we are assigning that line to line and we are printing it we are reading that till if line is not equal to null okay okay and at the end we have to close the stream close whatever i have opened here otherwise it will give a warning message okay. right so now i am trying to run did you see that data return successfully after that two lines i am getting hi hello to all second line here yes so it is successful i can able to read the data successfully right okay and now i want to tell you the difference between the second approach in second approach we have used a lot of streams file output stream file input stream right yes okay this is the second approach here we are using output streams why because the data is converting into streams and we are sending it to the file okay after that again we are converting the stream data into character and we are displaying right Oh, there is, this is the process, and there is no formatter here. There is no next line, new line here. Only always write, write, write. Okay. But whereas in this approach, so we are not converting data into the bytes. Yes. And also we have some special formatters. Right. So that is these are the advantage of of the for, what is a buffered writer. Also, it is using buffered buffer buffer mechanism. okay entire data will not write into the file so the network traffic is very less so that it will maintain a buffer and it will send piece piece of data at a time okay so this is the uh, I mean advantage of buffer writer compared to the output stream yeah so whenever you are using any file handling go for this approach this is the best I mean best approach okay okay if you if you go for any interviews right you may get this kind of questions yeah got it uh, 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 what is the ways to create the file and what is the best approach then you can explain we can use output stream we can use buffer mechanism so buffer mechanism is the best one we have a lot of features data conversion all those things so in practical actually if you create create a file read data write data do you have to do a lot or sometimes where in 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 your work actually suppose uh -huh. uh, developer have to create files and yes yes we we have we have we have we need to create as part of development we need to create in some situations we need to write files and we need to create files into different server they will give you a server location we need to create a file into that server okay so that file will be read by some different persons so so what Yeah. If you are creating file in different server, so how can you check it? Just like the boolean that okay. Yes, it's boolean, boolean, boolean. Okay. Can you use that boolean that will tell you whether the file is created or not? Okay. If if some exception came right, if there is no permissions you to create file there, you will get read write permission something. Okay. So that message you can display to that user. Okay. So uh sometimes actually I saw some document that the file input output is just like the same thing that you are today actually discussing file input and output yes I mean which example no actually some once upon a time I was reading one chapter actually just like the document mm 
Uh-huh. And that was the file input output. So it is the same thing or the yeah, different thing? It's the same thing, same thing only. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah I got it actually. Hmm. So I think that I'll look over all the information uh, actually, you know, whatever you did it. So then. Yeah, you, you can execute this uh, five programs in your machine so that if you have any questions, we will discuss it tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I can do it. Can yeah. do it today, whenever you have some time, we will discuss it tomorrow, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay fine. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank yeah. you. Thanks, yeah.